orders are as follows. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to our Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough, where uh, we're probably gonna have uh, quite a bit of uh, interesting conversation, and I see a couple more vendors that I might have missed. Uh, I think Quayle uh, was inside the flop house. Sure, we'll see that later on. For now, let's uh, start with Azel. The means to loosing the Prince of the Comet was within our grasp, and you refused it. Why? Okay, hear me out. Uh, because we don't need the deal. We can take the hammer from the House of Hope. We know what it is. Plus, I'm not taking a deal with the devil. I wanted to follow the open valley, the easy way out. You chose the bramble path. I'm annoyed by it. And I admire you for it. We must speak with Voss. Then we find our way to Raphael's House of Hope. We'll take the Orphic Hammer and use it to smash the true heir's bonds. Yisk Githgar Tafki crash it. The Gith Yankee will be free. Okay, not as angry as I expected. <laughs> yeah, we're, next step is gonna be. I'm listening. Uh, Kalak, anything to say? Raphael must be raging we didn't take his deal. Luckily, his desperation made him careless. Did you hear what he said? The hammer's in his house of hope. If we wanted, we could steal it right out from under his nose. Granted, it wouldn't be easy. Devils guard their treasure by especially lethal means. See? Uh... What do you suggest? We would need to find a diabolist. One worth their salt should be able to get us into that devil's lair. One last trip to Avernus. At least it'd be for a good reason, right? Hmm. Cool. Asterion? Useful as the hammer would have been, I'm relieved we're not in the devil's debt. Exactly. Once his kind has you under their thumb, they won't ever let you go. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that was the main thing I was thinking. There okay. you are. I Whoa. thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Uh... Do I care if he knows that he was Raphael? Because I, I don't think I'm going to change my mind. There's oops, very slim chances that I've changed my mind. So yeah, he was Raphael. Raphael? Well, thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? Ooh. I think I'm gonna just tell him that he wants the crown that's all on the brain. Giving a devil what he wants sounds like a brilliant idea. And what did he offer you in return for bringing it to him? Does it matter? I said no. I am glad you had the sense to turn him down. But it certainly does matter. Ah. Anything that threatens our alliance threatens our chances of defeating the Elder Brain. So I ask you again, what were the terms of the deal he offered you? That's between me and the devil. You don't need to know. I see. You feel the touch of the Emperor's mind peeling at the edge of yours, trying to gain access. You're the one who always talking about trust. If you trust me, you'll stop this right now. That is 
A fair request. You feel its presence withdrawing from the fringes of your awareness. I shall respect your privacy on this occasion. But know that if you have jeopardized our mutual project, I will be forced to reconsider our alliance. Now come. We have an elder brain to destroy. Fine by me. I'm not gonna tell him that uh, we know about the hammer. That's for sure. Okay, so that's Roberon. Uh, wait, weren't there more rooms, actually? Like underneath here. I don't wanna check to see first. Oh, there's a chest right there. Ah, yes. Uh, <laughs> and I forgot about the... Uh, the the reward <laughs> from last episode for finding the murderer so let's finish with this i guess wait is that actually yeah this uh, material and i need to remember about this chest which apparently well you are not wearing Looks like he's considered trespassing. Interesting. Could potentially maybe be able to jump from here. Yeah. Cool. Uh, do I need to leave people out or? Look, you didn't sign a treaty permitting you to march a war band <laughs> through my lands. You paid for sex. Okay. 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 Gotcha. I need to leave uh, guys out. I thought he would do it automatically. Hey guys. Just relax over there. I'll close the door as well. Sure, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna say, what about the privacy and whatnot? You came. I'm so pleased. You can never tell who's going to get cold feet. So? Now that you're here, what next? What's on offer? An experience no one else here will give you. A chance to be embraced in the dark. But what that means is up to you. And of course, there's no charge. Anything for someone who helped find Fion. So, what can I do for you? A tender touch, some sensory stimulation. What do you mean by a chance to be embraced in the dark, though? I'm curious. It's all part of the experience. The room is bathed in total darkness, so there is nothing to distract from your ecstasy. There's no judgment in darkness, no shame just the sensation of two bodies together in the moment hmm so basically you're off this i'm kind of seeing this as just mutual submissive on my part and submissive on her part that's what i'm getting from this i'm just curious now look at i hope that's makeup over there on both sides because all the positioning and whatnot it looks like she has like a black eye and not in the sense of a makeup on the left one so you know what let's just have a sweet moment together. Then, let's begin. In the darkness, you can feel hands moving over your body. 
touching, squeezing, caressing. Your body is such a treat. I'm so glad you chose to share it with me. So glad we have this time together. Her hands slip under your clothes, running down your chest, your stomach, between your legs. Um... <coughs> I did not expect that we're gonna have choices as well. Right. Uh, try to match her passions then. You drag your tongue in a winding line from beneath her earlobe down along her collarbone. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You hold her so tightly, enveloping her in your arms. Her heart starts to flutter faster, like that of a small animal. You're not sure how long your time together lasted, but it was long enough. By the end, you felt like you were floating in the dark, utterly at peace. Okay. Nice. <laughs> um, well, could you at least put the armor back on? Come on. Ah. Uh. Oh, my clothes. Okay, cool. Can we chat more? That was wonderful. Perhaps you'll enjoy a drink in the bar before you brave the streets again. Is there anything else I should know of this place? <sighs> Even in the best of times, it's an oasis of pleasure and calm. In the city's chaos, with Baldur's Gate preparing for war, the caress feels like the final flicker of a beautiful flame. Before darkness falls. Is that everything? That was wonderful. <sighs> With Baldur's Gate. Okay, it's just repeating. Did I get. Oh. oh, no extra. Off. Apparently. Right, I'll close the doors as well. Give some privacy. Kalak. Hey! Okay. Ah, you're leaving anyway. I'm listening. Is Darian? Yes. Nothing else. Oh, okay. So I guess I'm uh, done on this side as well. We only have the Raphaels, but again. I got it. I got it. Thanks. We're probably just gonna have that ignored till the end of the game. <laughs> Okay, boss, where are you? Okay, I thought, thought you meant the tap room over here, not here. Voss, friend to the comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. Um... I'm also curious, was he injured like that? The last time we met. It was a long time. I don't remember him having an ear, the left ear like chopped off or parts of it. And he looks a bit more bloody than last time we saw, so did he have a fight with Raphael or something with devils or demons? Curious. But yeah, I did not take the deal, but I'll find another way to liberate Orpheus. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the First Mother's son. Githcards have Kim crashed. You put your trust in me, Voss. I plan to honor it. Yes, and it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. 
Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geik. Is Tick. I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. Any idea where Raphael might keep the Orphic hammer? A devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. The House of Hope. We must find a way in. The House of Hope, you say? I couldn't ask for a name more fitting. Every house has an entrance, Istik. Even those in the Hells. You must find it. Yes, but I already knew that. Come on, I was asking about something else. Like if maybe if you have any clues or hints. I guess you don't, unfortunately. But Orpheus sensed the tadpole before and his guard attacked. Won't he attack if we free him? The prince of the comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason, I promise you. All right. You are wasting your time and mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. Hmm. Actually, you wouldn't this alert the Emperor? Ah. Uh, should explore the city, find more. They'll be waiting for us in the sewers. Should inform him when the deed is done. Okay. Anything else, Lizelle, after this conversation? I'm listening. Uh, yeah, has gone underground. He'll be waiting for us there. You already know. Voss has done his duty. Now, we will do ours. We must find our way to the House of Hope and take the Orphic Hammer. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will use the hammer to break Orpheus free. I'm assuming that option would, uh, was available. Hey! Ah, you paid yes. Raphael a visit. I want to hear all about it. Yes. Come here! I'm not going to start an argument. I just want to know why you turned the boss down. Ooh. Mm, I don't have the option. I was thinking maybe she could give us an entrance to the House of Hope. But I guess no. Or maybe later on. We'll see. Did he also try... Did he also tell you that he tried to win me over with your charms? Cheeky. We might be in a brothel. But I'm not that kind of gal. You should reconsider, though. The boss oh, might be a devil, Whoops. but he'll treat you more honestly than anyone else in the city. What exactly is it you do for him? Plenty. But right now, I have one job. You. I'm talking to you openly. Mortal to mortal. And I'm begging you to sign the contract. If the brain wins, the Illithid Empire returns, and worlds you've never even dreamed of will die. Raphael can stop it. He wants to. And he knows how. You're the key. You always have been. Then why make demands of me instead of just helping? He's a devil. It's his nature. He needs to get his due. Yeah, I don't believe a devil cares about the fate of the world. Sorry. I won't pretend he's an altruist. But he's looked at the balance sheet. No world, no souls. And it's hard to get leverage on an illithid. They make terrible clients. I mean... I kind of had a feeling that's why he wants the crown and whatnot. Because... Yeah, he kind of screws with his business quote-unquote 
But yeah, I have no guarantee that he's gonna stop there and you know, he can get any deals. Like for him it's gonna be a great deal, but for the the guy that's making the deals probably is gonna be really bad, you know. In terms like, oh I'm gonna get your house, your kid, your soul, when whatever, and you're gonna get a piece of bread. Take it or leave it, you know? That kind of deals. So no. I'll stop the brain without his help, sorry. I doubt it. But even if you do, you won't survive the fight. I'd reconsider if I were you. Still haven't heard any good arguments. Well, I do. Which means to be honest. We're in a real room. Like this guy is all the Ah, this was at the chest. Can I make the jump or do I need? Oh really? Call out? You can make the jump. Oh, some gold and a potion. Uh, what's this entrance though? Okay, I thought for a second I couldn't jump back. I was a bit scared. Alright, what now? I'd love to, uh, I still need to reorganize again the potions. Now that I got a couple more. Time to press ahead. Is there no entrance into this building? That's not considered trespassing. Or is this actually connected? No, this is this room here. I did not see Raphael's room. I mean, I couldn't explore more, unfortunately. To see if it's like a... Like a ladder, but again... Okay, let's talk with the vendor first. See if he has something interesting. Vegetables? What can I do you for? Yeah, hey, I don't think you have anything of interest. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess I can sell you the ring. I don't have any if you Up there. Danfilin's dancing axe. The Harper's safe house to hear mentioned. Yeah, well, what about this area here? Just done a few. Oh. Are the citizens not gonna care I pick lo not pick buck. I lock pick this? Don't give me trouble now. Okay. Don't want to draw any Oh, my hand slipped. What the hell is this area? See some citizens out there. This is a goblet. This is very random. It looks like Rapture is helping me with this kind of. Yes. Uh, sure, let's just go to the vendor and. Only the finest produce sell the goblet. This morning, if you hunt, so we have Sulixana. Okay, let's see. Just a refugee, wooden trunk. It's considered stealing, apparently. It has nothing of interest. Never wanted the easy part. If any of us would be so fortunate, imagine seeing a watcher power for the first time. Oh this actually goes. Oh, it's another steel watcher. Let me guess, we might have. Or we might not have problems. Now that I think about it, because we do have the pass. So that should come in handy. Mm. Okay, what's this building here? You told me the armor was a bargain. Calms, calms. 
Set your worries at ease. Hey, me, me. Right. Wasn't there another vendor? No, I think he's the one in the flop house. Okay, let's go to the camp. Because I don't need to make some swaps around here. Uh, Yana, are we doing good? I brought my own pairing. Okay, same things. Gale, buddy. No conversation. I mean, you should have. At least some commentary about the deal. Let's start with Halsin. Oak Father preserve you. You have nothing. Okay, Gale. Go ahead. I'm listening. Really? Nothing regarding what we talked with Raphael? I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this. Okay. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Uh... Yeah. Well, hello. Wait, did I give portions to Asterion? Yes, I did. I'm gonna... Transfer it for, for me. And these things have stayed interesting. Need something? Oh, <laughs> yeah, Just stay it here. Because I'll ready. get Jahira. Let's see if any, anybody has well, something man. to say. Oh, it seems Grand Duke Steelmane been murdered. Did you know her at all? I met her twice. The first time I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even oh, with so. the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim, I asked Father later. No, he said, a stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. I sense there's something more to this story. Yeah. What could it be? Mm, something's always gnawed at me. At the banquet, Stelmane didn't seem to look at us, but through us. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination, but I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. What, though? I couldn't say. gone before her time it sounds like what a tragedy not a tragedy a calculated cruelty think about it my father was tadpole stelmane is dead the people are frightened and the council's in disarray to exert control you must first sow chaos a tyrant strategy as father would say these murders aren't random acts someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand and the city is made weaker for it True. I mean, we did found the list as well. Voss is waiting beneath the city. We'll apprise him of our progress once we have the Orphic Hammer in hand. Okay, cool. You already know that. <laughs> uh, nothing else. Ah. Just... Darling. Okay, Jahira. Well, I'll... As you wish. Ah. Uh, should I do a long rest? I'm gonna lose quite a lot of buffs, Nature's unfortunately. Sure. Can't give up now. Screw it. I'm gonna do a long rest, yes. I'm gonna lose the rapture. Why not? It is what it is. Well, I'm gonna make it a bit more harder. But... Whoa. Will disapproves. Ah, uh, right. I don't think he likes me using 
skills on him, such as friends and whatnot, charmings. Makes sense. He has a deal with Mizora. Anyway, I'm gonna do a long rest. Yes, nothing that is exactly needed, but I'm curious why my character said, like, oh, I need to rest soon. And maybe we're gonna advance a bit more in other stories. So, yeah. Well, no cutscenes. Well, are we ready for the road once? Ask it. Can I ask more? No. Same things, Kalak. What's on your mind? Swift as my feet can carry me. Nobody has any new conversation? Yes. I'll be very upset if uh, this was literally a waste. Well met. Sorry, Will, that I used the uh, friend's charm on you. I'm listening. Gale has something really to say, better. at least. Oak Father preserve you. Nothing on Halcyon. So, the devil himself is pursuing the crown. As for whether it's truly the crown Carter's forge, well, I think it's safe to assume we shouldn't take anything Raphael utters at face value. We must claim the crown of Carter's for ourselves before anyone else does. True, but. What do we do? We do with it. Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, nothing, and then Shadowheart. Almost pleasant traveling with. Come nice to song. bask in the glow of the moon. Isabel. Keeping very well, I hope. Okay. Uh, let's see if something else advances when we go to sleep. So far, only one comment from Gale. Right. Okay, supplies. Half eaten apple. Sure. Uh, what else? Just gonna put the single ones that don't take a lot. So that's up to 21. Garlic, sure. Need another four or ah, there it is, headless fish. Uh when I started the conversation. There we go. Oh hi, hello. How did you? Oh, it's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Catherick and took his Netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been brittle. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash fiercely. I suspected that when we took Catherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders, and I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An elder brain enslaved is one thing, an elder brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. Your company isn't unwelcome. What are you doing? Trying to guard us. The brain is restless, but I am distracted, and my lack of focus is endangering us. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. What do you think of? Duke Stelmane, or 
Belen, as I knew her. I wasn't ready for her death. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. Oh. You mean, was it more intimate? In a way. But not the way you're thinking of. In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a Mind Flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, Everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. Well, I'm um, sorry for your loss then. I appreciate your understanding. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. Oh, thank you for sharing that. I'm not gonna keep a reassuring squeeze. You have shown me great empathy. We are closer now. Close enough, I hope, that I can ask you to reconsider your position regarding your physical form. Oh, I know it is no easy choice for you, but we will have a far better time ridding the city of Gortash if you accept just a touch of illithidness. Not to mention the Elder Brain itself. Our chances against it greatly improve the more illithid we both are. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you. Okay, I thought uh, I would have to do another conversation option, Please telling him, like, no. <laughs> Okay, uh, does anybody have something to say? I don't think they had any conversation with you. Darling? Nope. You're here? Well. I mean, I'm not seeing any. Before I forget, at least, at least do speak with animals. Maybe it'll bring us closer. I'm yeah. this. It also promises to break us beyond repair. Wait, what? Ossified. There will be ice where once there was fire. There will be ah. a fort. I know. And I... Uh, I think I chose by mistake the option for her to take the illithid. Well met. That's not what I wanted. Also, hold up. Could it be true? Duke Steelmane allied with the Emperor. Mind flayers are like devils. They just sport tentacles rather than wings. Clever, manipulative, exploitative. The Emperor says he's a friend. I think we'd be fools to believe him. And maybe it's true. Maybe Steelmane allied with a mind flayer and subjected the city to their political will. Or maybe he made an offer she couldn't refuse. True. Maybe we'll uh, have a chance to pursue that and see. Well, hello. What can I do? For All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. Uh, nothing new. Well, Gail has something to say. 
Oak and... Father preserve you. Scratch, do you have another thing for me? The dog or... is unable to speak through the small bag he holds. There. I don't know. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Okay. Some pets. Uh, portion of animals speaking, sure. Hmm? Uh, Jahira, you can drink that one. Soldier. Not sure if uh, you're gonna be in the party for long. Also, there was some gold. Hey, Eager for battle. Looking ahead. Ah, okay. I haven't given the other flash blinder. Oh. Eager for battle. I thought I left it on Asterian. Action, not reaction. Uh, Kalak. Sure. It's gonna remain in the party. Sure, I'll give her. Be affected by bless. Like it will be done. So not sure about Lazel. Because I think I might have no, finished mind. mostly with her in this part. Gale? We must claim the crown of Cassus for ourselves. Before anyone else does. Uh Sure, anything else you want to say? How can I help? No, nothing. Cool. These boots have seen everything. Uh, let's leave the camp. I have Jahira with me. Okay, game. Speak. Nothing to say. So... Yeah, could you consider the deal? Portash. Oh, there's some, something on the right. Okay. Good. Let them see you taking charge of Okay. Mimi, Sapphire. I'd love to chat, but I've got a suit to find. Who knew buying something so simple would take the bones of a day? Mimi? You have got to check out Dan Thelon's dancing axe. Their leather work is amazing. Well, thank you for that. Uh, nothing else? Nothing else, it seems. Okay, there's another vendor. Yes, darling, it's very leather like. Whoa. Need something? I've got the tools for any job. Any job. Okay, there was another earthquake. That happened. So you say for any job. So I guess I'll uh, get the toolkits. Oh. Thank you for that. Okay. I'm assuming you guys are not gonna let me hear. Any. No force cutscene yet. Okay, let's uh, see with your hero. A hero is nothing without the right equipment. See Danthelon's dancing axe for all your adventuring needs. The Velveteen Elixir. You're something different. Now here's someone who appreciates the finer things. Welcome, sir. Greater healing. I already have the recipes, I think. Ocean catalog. Even traders have private property. It seems that item is not for sale. Oh, I uh, do not want to steal it. I thought it showed for me to interact. A potion a day keeps Kalimvor away. Hmm. That one is locked. Oh, and there's a chest over there. You know what? Let's my mother and father. Let's see with Jahira because I'm thinking maybe see with Jahira then replace her. Actually I think I might be done with Lazel for the moment. Uh so Lazel, we're gonna Eager for battle. Chill for the moment. 
Inside here, or in the camp. Do you wanna pass something else? No one no, no, will ever okay, believe this. Fine. I'm lit. Are you sure that's the confirm? Yeah. I'll catch a break. And I'll get Gale for this because it's regarding potions and whatnot. Always at your side. How can I help? With okay. Quite ready for you. Uh, sure, have the dark vision. Think that I have scroll as well, if need be. And Quite sure, cool. see invisibility as well. Nice. I've got a long road ahead. I'm probably gonna be end up switching him back, but sure. Don't draw any trouble on old Enthar. He acts like he's up for it, but he's retired for a reason. Welcome oh. to Denthilon's dance. Is here? Any comments on that? Our no. stock isn't you. Ah, so this is a door. Finest I could enter from this side then. Interesting. And the door to the balcony. Cool. So, saw me. And so... Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble... Oh, you can turn off the charm, Enthorl. He's <laughs> with me. Blueberries. Thought I had a sale. You look tired, Harper. I missed you too. They're already here? Down below. Here's the key. Yeah, do Harpers ever just stop and say hello? Ha! Clearly you do not know our Harper most high. I wouldn't say that. We've traveled a long road together in a short time. The others will be taking their ease here. Entharl has been known to shelter Harpers when they need it. Entharl has been known to charge rent. Harpers <laughs> have been known to ignore him. Of course. Now go on. The short father may send me an actual paying customer today. Yeah, sure. Let's have a look at your stock at least. To buy? Oh, you're already my favorite. I mean, if you have potions, which you do, and potential items, horns of the berserker, you gain attack from creatures that have already taken damage, unarmed and melee attacks. Excellent. Uh, if you don't deal any damage, you take damage. Ah. Huh. What does Karlak have? Ah, momentum for free turns. What about the bow? When it lands a critical hit, also slows the target, and then attacking gnomes or dwarves more damage so again this is very situational uh right i'll get your potions of health what else do you have here gaseous form critical heat i'll hold on for the rest harmonic dealer rap rapier and what about the gloves I guess I have disadvantage on saving throws against your maneuver and weapon action. Well, what are we talking about weapon actions though? Ooh, cloak of displacement. At the beginning of wear's turn, the cloak activates, creating enemies disadvantage on attack rolls that target the wearer. This effect lasts until the wearer takes damage. That may be a cloak that I want to take. I'm ready. Yes, definitely I'm taking this cloak. I'll see who gets it. Hide the armor, half plate. Well, using patient defense, you also gain the benefit of blade ward. Interesting. But not sure it's something I could use. 
Uh, I'll get the helm and maybe I'll give that to Karlak. And then, again, what does it mean by weapon action? Is it gonna be active on normal attacks? Also already have dexterity to 18, so... Ugh. Charmed, I'm sure. Mm, and I think Lazel already has something interesting as well. So I think this might be it. I might look off screen. Maybe. A pleasure. Jakira needs more friends like you. No, thank you. I got a lot of potions. Um. Sweat. Whenever a creature deals melee damage to the wearer, that creature takes. So, yeah, this is just melee. So, if she gets attacked by ranged, you know, they're not gonna have the acid damage. So, yeah, I'll give uh, this cloak. Because at least at the beginning of the wearer's turn, the cloak activates, granting enemies disadvantage on attack rolls that target the wearer. Not sure if it spells, but we'll see. And sure, I'll give this one to Jahira, just to have a cloak. And then the helmet as well. Can you remember, what does momentum do? Does it say here? His momentum gives bonuses on initiative. I might need to check that off screen. How far? Initiative. Does not say here. Because this would be good when I attack somebody that already took damage. And more necrotic damage, or just a bit of an extra necrotic damage. If, you know, she's not full health. And that's not actually a lot of damage, to be honest. That she takes at the end of the turn. Oh, does she... Oh, okay. Looks badass. Yeah, so... It's gonna be for Karlak. Shouldn't have wished to live more interesting Snake Fang. Anybody else? You can break talk? it, you... Well, knowing Enthal, it was already broken. <laughs> I see. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Uh, I mean... Sure. Breathe quiet. Move with care. And I can take. Uh, not sure if it's of interest. I mean, I'll take these ones. Potions of resistance and some ball. potions of healing. Oh. Are these actually? If this is all the stuff that he's actually selling. Nope. Stay up. Coming back. Nothing to see here. Moving ahead. So I can literally just take everything. Uh, I'll keep that in mind, to be honest. And now, I can go up here. Yes, because you're using the rusty key. And what about this button? And this to open this one. Gotcha. Close that door. Mm, anything of interest out here? Please uh, trap the sun kit. And then I can open this one as well if need be. To be honest, yeah, I can just take everything off screen and. Okay, this was connected here. 
Then we have more double doors over there. Yeah, I can take everything off screen and just sell them or sell to the vendors altogether. Okay, Harper Geraldus. Ooh, there's another chest over here. Which, unfortunately, I think, yeah, you're watching me. Can't slow down. Oh, there's. Hi, Harper. May Saluna's tears shine on this meeting. A very formal greeting, Geraldus. You are well? Yes, hi, Harper. Standing beneath Saluna's tears. The lad's a little nervous, Jahira. We heard of your great victory against Ketherick. Geraldus isn't nervous. He's terrified. And he's using oh. Saluna's tears as some kind of code. I understand, Geraldus. Take a moment. And you, Harper. Mm. There is something familiar about you. Doesn't she remind you of our old friend Marcus? Jahira's meaning is clear. Marcus was a traitor laying a trap. The same, it seems, is happening here. Yep. Ooh. Let's do detect thoughts. I'm just curious. I'm assuming she... Oh, clever cub. This is an ambush. Strike first, while they focus on me. Then yes, I'm gonna remain silent. And wait for... Or, actually wait. No, strike while Jahira has them distracted. Okay, let's do this. Uh, Kalak is first. Just rage. Oh, I might have a really nice opportunity here. No, it's not exactly... Okay, I need better positioning here. No surrender. You like this? Really? The target is blocked. Sure. Nope. Not gonna save. Bye. See ya. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. And I have the weapon back. Perfect. Well, unfortunately, I won't have that loot. So maybe that was actually a bit of a mistake. She might have had some information. Like notes and whatnot. Oh well. Uh not sure down the reef. Yeah, it's not throwing a long way. Okay. actually hitting me or right I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda use that on me as well whoops I guess I'm gonna heal myself Actually, 
like that. Oh, really, not enough damage to deal both. Or at least this guy on top. Let me recite their demise. Really, come on. One health. One HP. God damn it. Anyway, they're not surprised anymore. And I guess. You shouldn't go around. What? Ah, uh, what if I vandalize? No. Really? Is it because of the insect swarm? No, I'm not accepting this. Sorry. Come on, game. How can you consider that I'm vandalizing stuff because of the insect swarm? Are you for real? Hi, Harper. Mates. Hey. Right. Well, this isn't. I am. Let's do this uh, quick. Jira's meaning is clear. Marcus yeah. was a Take traitor thoughts. laying sure. a trap. The same, it seems, is happening here. Oh, clever cub. And yeah. So I guess I'm not gonna use the insect swarm. Cool. Now I'm gonna change a bit as well. Actually, do I need? Say bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> One is out. And. Another bonus attack over there. Cool. More scared. Okay, Bring me there's a prize. Uh, this is another AoE. He's gonna pull me over. So in other words. Don't use AOE. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. But okay, everything you have is AOE. Really? Okay, sure, whatever. Range attacks, then. It's a critical hit on that one. And. You're out. You're out. Oh, and I have enough movement speed to do this. Nice. Perfect. I doubt you're gonna be able to. Well, I actually did enough damage. Damn. How many has she brought to Baal's side, I wonder? Mahler's mark. How many more Harpers dead? Okay, kill order. Fire. <laughs> Okay, now, okay, another over, potion, through. radiant, 
resistance. So I literally threw the one person that had the, the note. Yeah, and they're fine with me just picking stuff up. Okay, surveillance notes. City Harpers appear to operate independently, each separate cell feeding into a ranking member who oversees the larger network. It's an effective method distributing their efforts and ensuring that each unit is safeguarded against the infiltration of the others. But once already compromised, this structure is their greatest, greatest weakness, with no individual Harper being able to tell where the contamination began and how far it has spread. And so while they scramble to be rebuild themselves, we carry on with the Chosen's work. And okay, you're gonna let me take this chest as well. Full of eyes. Right, can we chat more? Did I... Uh, did I get it right? Shalunis tears. It is said no false face can stand beneath their light. An old code, Harper. But yes, you got it right. Now I need your report. We had eyes on suspected cultists in the city. Like you asked. We thought we were tracking them, but... They were tracking you instead. Evidently. Doppelgangers. And they're not just working with the cult, our High Harper. They're part of it. Balists, I think. Sworn to Orin the Red, yes. We've already had the pleasure. Go on. Everything seemed fine until your latest orders. Until we started to search for the Rashima. They struck the same night. I woke to one of them strangling Chelvin. While smiling at me out of her face, she said, It said that I'd report back to you as normal. Lou, are you here? And I had no choice. I'm sure it felt that way, Geraldus. The others were likely dragged back to Orin, tortured, sacrificed. I do not expect you to die for me. But to risk Antharl? Any citizen who might have wandered in? There is always a choice. And the Harper must be able to make the hard ones. Perhaps this isn't the life for you after all, Geraldus. No, Jahira! Hi, Harper! Please! I'm still a Harper. I want to help! You've scarcely signed up, boy. And there is a war coming. Why die a harper, when you could still live as anything else? Mm. Yeah, no, no one can make that choice for him. Not even you. Sorry, Jahira. I want to fight. For Chelvin. For all of them. So it means something. Death is death. To look for meaning in it is foolishness, boy. Childish storybook nonsense. <laughs> exactly the kind the Harper would spout, I suppose. <laughs> Fine. I have no right to make the choice for you. Not when this mess is of my making. I sent the Harpers hunting after the cult, without thinking what it would mean to be hunted in turn. Now they are compromised. And if not for you, I wouldn't even know it. I'm sorry, Geraldus. Harper. And I owe you an apology as well. I haven't told you everything I hope to learn here today. First, Geraldus. You're the last Harper in the city I can rely on. Lay low and rest while you can. I have matters to discuss with my friend here. Damn. Okay. Uh, what is this updated though? Uh, no. Talk to Jahira. Cool. I what have next? not been overly generous with the truth. I came here to learn of the Chosen. True enough. But I set my heart for searching for someone else, too. Tell me. What do you know of a man named Minsk of Rashomon? 
<laughs> oh my gods. Minsk! The name is as familiar as Jahira's own. A hero of the Time of Troubles, who saved the city more than once. I think... Isn't he a character from the older games that you could have in the party? Again, since I haven't really played those games. Now I'm kind of thinking I should just pick them up <laughs> and play. And maybe even make a playthrough. I don't know. But yeah, there isn't a Baldurian alive who doesn't know that name. But few know of his fate, I think. I had hoped to keep it that way. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. We fought at one another's backs, times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. What happened? Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there. Cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Mince charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun. Dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us, or leave him and live to fight another day. I'm um, sorry, Jahira. That's a cruel choice you had to have to make. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Okay. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. Why are you telling me this now? Because I was playing the pragmatist and writing my friend off for dead. Then I met you. If I seem suddenly flushed with hope and soft feeling, you have only yourself to blame. Oh, the point is moot without a means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. I'll have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city. Yeah, Michelle. And yeah, looks like... Mm, Kalak knows him too. Doppelgangers... Means of Rashomon. Once we reach the lower city. Okay, so that means... We're kind of done with her for the moment. Right? Anything else? Yes. You mentioned there might be another way to find me. <sighs> there might be, but mm, it's not a path I dread until we must. Let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had a better idea by then. Okay. A way of telling me, yeah, you can... Take it off, or take it, take her off the party for the moment. Shapeshifters in the Harpers. My dad always admired their mission, said they gave up their entire lives so we could live safely and ask for nothing in return. We'll rout them, right? For the city and for dad. We shall. Don't worry. Gail? Even the venerable Harpers are compromised by the Absolute's poison. A grim turn of events, but one we must take in our stride. And that's about it. Right. Uh... Dinner with your folks. You are not wearing. Are you guys safe up here? Here we go. Do you see anything? Sounds like you've left some bodies to bury. Plus side, enthalpies <laughs> over time. I'm glad I could help. What? 
by the Morden Summons Curlies went on down there. Well, Harpers turned out to be shapeshifter assassins. Sorry. Of course. Of course they bloody did. <sighs> Clear out then. I'm guessing I have some tidying to do before the steel watch squeals by. Uh, that's it. No more questions asked. Plenty. But I'll bend you here as point your ears when all of this is done. She'll owe me a whole cask of drinks by then. You heard him, Jahira. That's on you. <laughs> uh, anyway, looks like uh, I got uh, plenty of potions as well. And attack and resistance. And then radiant. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here for this episode. This again, it's gonna be a bit more on the longer side. We still have this building on this side to check. We'll check that next time. And then, I guess, I don't know. Actually, it wasn't there. Yeah, I had on this floor as well, I think. There was another door I could open, if I'm not mistaken. Somewhere. Right. Anyway, I'll leave it here for this episode and continue next time. Maybe do another long rest. At least after I explore this building on the left, on the, on the right, the other room or something. What's that up here? Uh, yeah, over here. Or see maybe actually start with this one first and then afterwards the other side but yeah for now hopefully enjoy this episode guys and i'll see you next time but as always just don't forget to take care